Vaccines are the most powerful medical weapon we have against disease. They're constantly evolving and improving, ensuring that more and more people are protected. But they're still not getting to many of those who need them most. Children in developing nations are 10 times more likely to die from a vaccine-preventable disease than they are in the wealthy nations. Pneumococcal disease is one of the biggest vaccine-preventable killers of children today. The current WHO estimates are that pneumococcal disease causes around 800,000 to 1 million child deaths every year. And most of these deaths are in developing countries. I think I'll describe the feeling that I have as being helpless. All you can do is give them the antibiotics and wait for them to work. It's not good. If these children had been born in the West, they'd have been vaccinated and safe. But in the developing world, there's no optimal vaccine yet available to protect against the different strains of pneumococcus found here. But that's about to change. Thanks to the effort and support of the governments of Italy, the UK, Canada, Russia, Norway and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, together with Gavi Alliance Partners, the World Bank, the World Health Organization and UNICEF, the very first advanced market commitment against pneumococcal disease is ready to save lives. The AMC is a revolutionary new approach to public health funding. Its aim? to stimulate pharmaceutical companies to develop and manufacture new vaccines for the developing world at affordable prices. The AMC donors have made a financial commitment to guarantee the price of vaccines once they've been developed. Gavi will then help countries to buy them. This creates a market for a new vaccine that gives the confidence to the producers that they can make investment to develop new vaccines and that the vaccines will be sold. Vaccine producers finally have the incentive they need to invest the considerable sums required for development and expansion of manufacturing capacity. Through this mechanism and with countries co-paying small amounts of money, this has a significant impact on the sustainability of the program. Developing countries will now have access to vital life-saving pneumococcal vaccines up to 10 years sooner than if the AMC hadn't existed. I'd be very glad if we did have a vaccine against pneumococcal disease. Less children would suffer. We all know that prevention is better than cure, so vaccine is the best way to prevent pneumococcal disease. With the older population, will also get less exposed to the disease and there will be less mortality in the older people also. The pneumococcal AMC is a huge step towards ensuring that children in developing countries get the right vaccine at the right price and at the right time. Thanks to this important commitment, over 7 million lives could be saved by 2030. I think the right to uh, vaccination and protection from preventable disease is a right for every child and should be available to every child, regardless of where they are born. And I think it is in our collective capacity to make sure that that right is available to every child in the world. The AMC against pneumococcal disease, ready to save lives.